date. Hi, 30 male. Think my fiance is 27 female. Cousins, 34 female. Child is mine. My fiance is Sarah, and I have been together for three years. She's actually my first serious girlfriend since middle school. I will honestly admit that I've been a complete piece of turd with women for most of my teens and 20s and pretty much used women. I'm saying all this to explain how promiscuous I was in the past. Sarah knows about my past, and she's grown to accept it. We met at work and she hated me because she saw right through me. And after pursuing her for close to a year, she finally agreed to date. And the rest is history. We've been living together for two years now. And I've grown incredibly close to her parents too, and she also loves my family. Past three years have been the best of my life, and I'm so excited to spend the rest of my life with her. This weekend, her cousin and her family are in town. She's really close with her cousin Lauren, and miracle I haven't met her yet. I was always busy for one reason or another the few times she's visited in the last three years. So, I finally met Lauren and her husband for dinner at Sarah's parents' place. She immediately stares at me a bit wide-eyed, and I can't help but think she looks familiar. We're all being introduced to each other, and Lauren, for the most part, seems to be acting normally. But she's still staring at me whenever she can. Then, Sarah's parents came in with Lauren's little boy who's five years old. I'm looking at this kid and Lauren, and the only thing I can think of is that the boy looks like a carbon copy of me at his age with some Lauren mixed in. I'm suddenly starting to remember that I took Lauren home from a bar close to six years ago. And I also remember convincing her to not use protection after I showed her my blood work. I'm just a sweaty nervous mess for the rest of the dinner. And I think Lauren realizes from how she looked at me and the boy that maybe I realized too. And an even more screwed up part, I think Lauren was visiting Sarah that weekend I took her home. They probably had a girls night out that weekend with her friends and I took Lauren home. So Sarah was probably at the same bar that night. Sarah asked me if I was okay and just told her I wasn't feeling well. I didn't go to work yesterday and today and just took sick days. I don't know what to do. Lauren obviously isn't saying anything. I have no clue if she was married at a time. And I don't want to ask Sarah because I don't want her getting suspicious about me asking. I don't even know how I feel about possibly being a father. But I'm 95% sure this kid is mine. He looked nothing like the husband. Do I just shut up? I never cheated on Sarah, obviously. But she knows how much of a player I was. And it took her a while to get past my number. I don't know how she'd react if she knows I knocked up her cousin years before knowing her. This is vain and superficial about Sarah and I'll love her to death. But she absolutely hates if something is considered trashy or low class. I honestly think it's possible she'd leave me if I knocked up her cousin. I can't lose her. She's literally the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now for the top advice before reading the updates. Find out the kid's birthday discreetly, can you? And do the math. That will at least tell you if it's possible the kid is yours. I had a scare like this. I saw an ex walking around in the distance and she was pregnant. Then I did the math and realized it was impossible. Search Sarah's calendar for the kid's birthday and the timing works out. Do you know for sure that Lauren is the woman from 5 to 6 years ago? It was her. Took me a bit to remember, but it was her. I'm guessing a lot of the commenters on this are men. I'm a 52-year-old woman. The number one most important thing in a relationship for me and for all of the women I know is trust. Honesty, trust, and having each other's backs. This is why women sometimes can't forgive cheating. It's not the intimate act itself. It's the breach of trust. If you were my boyfriend slash husband, I would want you to put me first before Lauren. Meaning, literally come to me first. Like, I have to tell you something that's really stressing me out. You know how I told you I had a lot of irresponsible drunken hookups a few years ago? When I met Lauren the other night, she looked really familiar. I am so ashamed to tell you this, but I am pretty sure I hooked up with her that weekend. I am not sure if she recognized me, but I think she might have. I felt like she was looking at me strangely. I was so stressed out about it. I lied to you and said I felt sick. Well, that wasn't really a lie, because I wanted to puke. And I'm still completely sick about this. I can't bear to lose you, but I can't lie to you and not tell you about this. Please help me figure this out. What should I do? Then let her go through all the stages of figuring this out with you. Let her say, oh my god, is that your kid? While you put your face in your hands and moan. If you do what all these guys are suggesting, and try to do damage control and go talk to Lauren behind your girlfriend's back, you are completely screwed. It's not a crime, it's the cover-up. 
If you talk to Lauren, figure out you are the bio father, and then drop the whole story on your girlfriend, there is no way in hell she will ever believe that you just figure this out now. She will feel doubtful about what you knew, when you knew it, how you feel about Lauren, and when you last slept with Lauren, etc., etc. If you want to have a life with Sarah, go to Sarah and ask for her help. If she dumps you, she's only dumping you for something you already told her about which was your past behavior. And if she got over it once, she might even get over it again. Right now, you are in the most forgivable, least guilty position possible. You never lied to Sarah about your past, and you aren't going to start now. You did not turn your back on your child, or the mother of your child. You did not know. If this kid was your baby, you weren't informed at a time. If Sarah and Lauren are close, and Lauren did have a pregnancy and conceal it from the bio father, Sarah may know all about it and may be aware the bio father wasn't notified. Oscar Wilde once said, Ignorance is like a delicate flower. Touch it and the bloom is off. Women are insanely perceptive of micro-expressions on their partner's face. If you find out anything and hide it from her for 24 hours while you think about it, she will already feel in her bones you are lying and don't trust her. She is probably still wondering what the heck was going on with you at a party. If you do anything else besides go to Sarah first, you are most likely done for. Trust that your partner can love you enough to get through this with you. Tell her as soon as possible, before Lauren comes forward and says something. If by any chance Lauren is passing your bio kid off as her husband's bio kid, she may try taking some defensive actions. Who knows what? Or maybe Lauren will tell your girlfriend it's you, and that's why you acted sick at a party. OMG, don't roll the dice. Go to her, throw yourself on her mercy, and ask for her help. Like others have said, if you and this kid share some DNA, the chance of him figuring this out in your lifetime is extremely high. Rip the band-aid off and deal with it now. Thank you. I really appreciate your post. I will definitely talk to Sarah first and follow your advice on how to break it to her if I can muster up the courage. I'm panicking at the possibility of losing her. Now for the first update. After three days of staying home and feeling sick to my stomach with nervousness about this, I finally told Sarah late last night after my last post. Thank you so much to a certain user, because your comments gave me the push to spill my guts. As embarrassing as it is, I cried from the beginning to end telling Sarah, and pretty much told her I don't want to live without her. She held my hands in bed and patiently listened about how I recognized Lauren, remembered our night, and how seeing that kid mentally broke me because I saw my future with Sarah jeopardized as soon as I saw him. She told me she's upset I didn't tell her as soon as we left her parents' place, and to never keep something like this from her again, but that she understood I was scared. She said she's not leaving me, because I never betrayed her in the last three years we've been together, and we'll figure this out too. And she said she'll reach out to Lauren herself and figure what's going on, because she's been with her husband for 10 years now, and if she's my one-night stand from years ago, she definitely cheated. We then had an even more uncomfortable about the type of things I've done in the past and wanted to know if there's any more surprises she needs to be ready for. She said she knows I was promiscuous and a bit of a reckless idiot, but we kind of swept everything under the rug when we got together because we both agreed we wanted the fresh start. And after this fiasco, that might have been a bad idea, so she wants to know everything in detail now. But we can have that talk another time. I don't feel great about this, but I'll deal with this hurdle when it comes up. Sarah has been home with me, trying to get in touch with Lauren since morning and has been getting completely stonewalled. Finally, Lauren texted her to, please just let it go. Sarah asked her again if they could just have a quick chat or even text is okay, but Lauren insisted to just let it go, please. I'm guessing Lauren realized I told Sarah everything. We don't know how to proceed from here on out. We're deciding to just respect her wishes and not pursue this further. Lauren also just changed her response to our wedding invite to a no-show. Sarah is kind of upset by this, but honestly, I'm fine with this outcome. We always plan to leave the US in a few years anyway. I got a lot of messages asking me to just shut up, and I was honestly ready to go that route. But I think the worry was actually physically making me sick. Anyway, thanks everyone for the advice. Much appreciated. I'm so glad you told her. Honesty in a marriage is so important. This is just too big to hide. Hope he found a keeper. Never let go of her. Yeah, Lauren is gonna be screwed if her husband ever does a paternity test. Because in your last post, you said a kid looked like you. 
So I would be prepared in case something like that happens. Damn, and she was married for 10 years just to cheat? Wow, I feel bad for her husband. But I would say leave it alone for right now and maybe discuss things again in a couple of weeks when everyone's emotions calm down. If Opie wasn't about to marry into their family, she'd likely be in the clear. But I've seen firsthand how trying to bury something like this goes when it involves two members of a family. Someone always puts the pieces together. As the kids get older and starts looking even more like Opie, people notice Lauren is absent from Sarah's wedding and ask about it. They notice Lauren continuing to avoid Sarah and Opie, or someone just drinks too much one night and lets something slip out. Or a kid does 23 and me at age 25, just to learn dad isn't dad. The possibilities are endless. Dude, if I was cheated on and someone got pregnant and made me think it was mine, I would absolutely want to know so I could get the heck out of there. The husband needs to know eventually. That's so messed up. Yeah, but I think Opie doesn't want to step in as this child's father figure, financially or emotionally. He wants to swept along and move abroad with Sarah. Unfortunately for Lauren's family and husband, they're pretty screwed if they ever do any 23 and me, etc. Second update. Wanted to post an update because everyone is concerned about the child. I agree the situation is messed up. And I would like to know, too, if my partner ever cheated. But the fact of the matter is, they will likely destroy an otherwise happy family. Both Lauren and her husband are incredibly successful in their fields and live in an affluent area and can provide the best life for the kid. While Sarah and I are still building our careers and about to begin our own lives. And people have been asking whether I care about a kid. Yes, of course I do. I saw myself when I saw him, but I don't even know him. I'm okay with not being in his life, and if in the future he somehow finds out and decides to find me, I can deal with it then. But right now, I'm fine with staying at a distance and seeing him through Facebook pictures and starting my life with Sarah. Hope that didn't come off as heartless, but I'm truly thinking about what's best for him. Wait until hubby finds out wife cheated, and maybe you aren't the only one. Like others have said, hope this doesn't bite you back. Besides, why are you covering for a cheater? Are these the people you want around you? Enablers and cheaters? In which perfect happy family does the wife cheat and have a kid that she knows is someone else's? Come on, dude. WTF. Imagine being stupid enough to cheat on your husband while visiting your cousin and then being stupid enough to not use protection and then being dumb enough to keep the kid and then being dumb enough to think it'll never come out. Girl, please. I don't think there's a right answer for Opie and his girlfriend. If they tell the husband and he had no idea his wife cheated, the marriages blow up. And there's a chance the husband wants nothing to do with a kid who isn't going to understand. On the other hand, it will come out eventually. The kid will discover the truth one day, and it's going to hurt worse then. Leaving it isn't the answer. Cousin is a dumb, dumb woman. I feel so sorry for that kid. Because he is the one who will likely suffer the most for the actions of his mother. I can already read a post in 10 years. I, 16 male, just found out that my dad isn't my real dad and that biological father is married to my mom's cousin. What do I do? Knowing Reddit, if that ever happens, someone will have saved the link to this post and ask if this is related. Now for the last story. Wife confessed she baby trapped me. Me, 29 male, and my wife, 31 female, met three years ago and started dating a little over two and a half years ago. About a year in, she became pregnant with our son, and we decided to get married and live together as a family. Honestly, it has been great, and I'm truly happy that I have a family, and we've even been considering having another kid. Last night, after putting my son down, my wife and I were in the kitchen. She looked a little uneasy, and out of nowhere, she just broke down crying. I got her to calm down, and she confessed that she got pregnant on purpose in hopes that I would stay with her. It was a huge shock to me, but I didn't pay much attention to it as my wife wasn't in a good state. She said that she couldn't live with the guilt anymore and begged me not to leave her. I told her everything was going to be okay and sent her to bed to get some sleep. I pretty much stayed up all night driving myself insane with what went down. The thing is, I really do love my wife, my son and the way my life is going. And to be honest, I really did see myself in this life, albeit a couple years down the line. On top of that, she really didn't stand much to gain having me around as she came from a wealthy background and myself being middle class. In fact, 
It was her dad who bought us a house and helped financially even though I was able to. I'm just really conflicted with her confession. Why wait so long? Is she having second thoughts? Can I even trust her, etc.? Any help would be great here, guys. Are you sure the kid is yours? You wouldn't be the first man to raise a child that's not his, only to realize the truth years later, like many years later, and too late to start over. If you are not 100% sure, do a test. Better safe than sorry. Just do it in secret. No need to make things more complicated than they already are. He is mine. Did a test pretty much as soon as he was born. I've been in a similar situation. The way I described it in therapy was, you gambled my entire life savings on a bet and it worked out. I'm happy it worked, but I'm mad you took the bet without asking me. I feel like you are conflicted because you know what you did was really wrong. But you are happy, and so being angry at her for a happy life feels wrong to some degree. You can be upset at the actions and still be happy now. The two do not have to be mutually exclusive. I feel like couples therapy would help here, so that later down the line you don't have resentment during a tough period. All relationships have ups and downs. Why wait so long? She was afraid to lose you. Is she having second thoughts? Doubtful. I think she just feels immensely guilty. Can I even trust her? I mean, that is for you to figure out. Another reason couples therapy might be a good idea. This is a very good answer. I have a few rules that I learned from experience in relationships. First, no secrets. A surprise party is okay, but nothing else. Lies kill. The other person won't know what you are hiding, but will know you are hiding something and will fear the worst. So, no secrets. Second is communication. Not talking. Not arguing. Yelling, maybe, if you are both actually communicating. Communication is listening and talking. Not one or the other. Both. Three, accept that you will make mistakes. But don't use that as an excuse to make mistakes. You know, cheating is bad. Just don't do it. Don't cheat, then say, oops, my bad. Don't work like that. And four, forgive. Don't hate a person. Hate the action. Communicate. Don't hide that you might be hurt. Apologize if needed. And if you still struggle, seek professional help.